embedding, caching, gateways, and I've got a winner for the t-shirt. It's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And WPC just happened. There was a big announcement. We've got the t-shirt winner. So let's dig in. First up is a blog post from Matt Allington where he looks at two ideas for slicers in Power BI. He makes a good case for why you can add value to a slicer to help people understand what it is they're looking at. He gives a good scenario for where this comes in handy. And he also talks about a way that you can add potential warning messages. So if you're interested in maybe looking at another way to use slicers or being creative with slicers, be sure to check out this blog post. Next up is a blog post from Bill Anton where he talks about engaging the formula cache in analysis services tabular. He talks about why a lot of times it's not actually used versus multidimensional and a way that you can go about actually engaging it to help with performance. So if you're interested in possibly gaining some performance, be sure to check out this blog post to see if it's applicable to you and how you can actually implement it. Next up is one of the announcements at WPC, and this was all about Power BI Embedded. I've got a bunch of links that talk about this that's all down in the description below, so you can go check those out. And really, this is about ISVs wanting to use Power BI with their third-party applications. And so if that's something that interests you and you want to embed Power BI elements into your custom application, then be sure to check out Power BI Embedded. It's an Azure service, and it is now generally available. And I'm going to be having a video that talks about the embedding options for Power BI. That's going to be coming up in a few weeks, so be sure to stay tuned. Next up is another item along with the embedding theme. This was an announcement of general availability at WPC as well, and that is the ability to publish to web. And publish to web is a feature within a report to actually embed that report inside of anything. It could be a blog post, a web page, anything. So if you're curious about that, be sure to check out this blog post, and then you can check out the official documentation too on how to actually do publish to web. That will also be included in the embedding video that I do. Some other big news that's near and dear to my heart is about the gateways. So we had an announcement this month for the, some changes to the gateways. The enterprise gateway is now called the on-premises data gateway and it does more than just Power BI. So this is used with Power Apps, with Microsoft Flow, and with Logic Apps. So you can have one gateway that can be used with all of those services. It's pretty cool. Also, the installer was a little simplified, so you can have one installer now and make a choice of whether you want the personal gateway or you want the on-premises data gateway, which is the enterprise gateway replacement. And I'm gonna have a video coming up that talks about the on-premises data gateway to try and help you understand what that's all about. So stay tuned on that. Okay, what was your favorite item? Go ahead and leave that in the poll up above or down in the comments below and let me know what you thought as always. And you can always, wait, hang on. We have a t-shirt winner. Thank you so much everyone for commenting on last week's roundup video. I loved hearing what your favorite items were in Power BI Desktop and it was great to see the engagement there. And I did pick a winner. It was at random, basically what I did was I just scrolled up and down a bunch of times and where my eye landed, that was the winner. So it was very scientific. So Sean Schaefer, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, you are the winner of a t-shirt. I will be getting with you to get your contact information. And here's what he had to say about Power BI Desktop. I love being able to quickly join complex data sets in one dashboard for non-technical users to interact with intuitively. That's integral to the idea of Power BI, of course, but it's the reason we're all here, I'm guessing. And Sean, that's one of the reasons I'm here, for sure. So if you're new here or you like this video, be sure to subscribe if you're not already for more great content. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me, and share that out with you. And every Tuesday, I do a technical item where I either look at how something works, a new feature, or how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.